Hello there, I am Giant Grow with more Earthbound. In the last part, we got to Tucson. And now we're gonna do some Tucson exploring, I guess. Or explore Tucson. So, well, I wanna start off with going to the department store, which is actually this way. Yeah. Department store, okay, cool, yeah. Tucson department store, we got it, we got it. Okay. So. Let's see here. How much money do I have? I think I only have like one dollar. Right. Yeah, I have one dollar right there. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna withdraw some money. Hopefully I have a lot of money or something. Or 1,030. Okay, cool. Okay, so I'm gonna like withdraw like 400. It's a lot of money, but like just to make sure I can afford everything. Or, or everything I want to buy or something. I don't know. We'll have to see. <laughs> Basically. Check. Okay, no problem here. Of course. Um, let's just yeah, pick up the receiver. It costs a dollar. Okay, let's go to Excargo Express, which is where Tracy works for part her part time job. So yeah, let's you nest big pro. It's me, Tracy. I've, I'm working part time for Excargo Express. What can I do for you? I'm gonna do a pickup delivery. You want us? To, you want us to store something for you? We'll send someone over immediately to pick it up. Click. Okay, so by immediately, she means really fast. So let's go up the escalator. You don't have to keep on pressing like up or um left on the D pad. You can just automatic. It's automatic. So, oh man, that was quick. Hello, it's Ex Go Express. Your delivery charge is $18. Can you cover the bill? Yes, I can. Uh, what can we take from you? I can't take up to three things. Okay. So I'm gonna do, um, the town map. Yes, there's something else. And the bicycle, I think. Yeah. Yeah, bicycle. Because I don't... We're gonna get a teddy bear soon, and we can't even use the teddy bear if we use on the bicycle and stuff. So I'm gonna... I think we can always pick up... Uh, we can always, like... Del they can always just deliver the items we stored. So it's all... It's like... It's not like it's stored in there forever. You can't ever take it back or anything or get it back. So that's it. Yeah, let me confirm your request. You want me to take the town map and... The town map? The bicycle. Is that the correct? Yes. Alright, so it's only... Uh, so it only takes a bunch of... Th th thanks a lot or something, he said. Yeah. So, uh, I don't think we have to buy anything from over here. I think we're good on hamburgers and stuff. Yeah, we should be good on hamburgers. Okay, cool. Um, let's go up the escalator then. Because this is where we can buy the teddy bear and stuff. And I forgot to mention, in the game, um, arcade back in Onet, there's like these uh, arcade machines for like Donkey Kong and Super Mario Brothers. Which, um, I think this one's right here, Super Mario Brothers. And uh, one of these is Donkey Kong or something, and one of them back in the game arcade at the Onet was Donkey Kong. So yeah, just I guess that's an Easter egg, I guess. So let's talk to the, um, this guy, right, this person right here. Uh, buy, I guess. What do you want to buy? Um, I want to buy a teddy bear, honestly. Yes, thank you very much. Is there anything else you can up? Okay, wait, actually, can you can I sell one of my hamburgers? Well, I guess I could keep my hamburgers just in case. Okay. And then, um, yeah, the teddy bear just follows you. It's like a temporary party member, where sometimes the enemy will attack, um, your teddy bear. And it's cool is, if you go back to the hotel to rest up, when you rest up and restore your, um, HP and PP, whatever, it'll actually, um, you can restore the damaged teddy bear if your teddy bear is damaged at all, to full health. And that's really nice, actually. So again, a temporary party member. Bye. Um, I don't want to buy anything. The slingshot is really bad. I don't, I don't think it hits that much. And... Um, I think it's one of the only one of the items that wasn't featured in Super Smash Brothers for Ness or Lucas and like Super Smash Brothers. Okay, that's the down one. Cool. I like how the teddy bear just follows us, and it's really cool. And you can only have one teddy bear following you, one teddy bear equipped to you that follows you because um you can't have like a line of teddy bears, so that's a bummer. But that's okay. That makes the game like hard, I guess, not easy if you had like, just a bunch of teddy bears following you. Let's just um. Exit out of the department store. I think that's all we wanted to do. Hmm, what else did I want to do? I think I want to go down to the uh, Pole Star Preschool, which I think where we heard where um, Paula was. I'm not going the right. That's not the right way, actually. Okay, we'll have to go around. We'll get to that area down there in a little bit, actually, and probably in this part. Yeah, most likely in this part. Oh my gosh. Dang it. Oh man, I have to go all the way back around. I like how the table just like, it doesn't even walk, it just follows us, you know. And it's back to back with Ness and the teddy bear's back. I like how the teddy bear is also like, you know, um, that color like reddish, I think, or whatever color it is. More like a red. I like this music. 
Oh, let's read the sign. Oh, okay, let's check the sign. Okay. Uh, tonight, the boogie is the boogie is back. It's uh, one way five's night. Okay, cool. Let's talk to this person. I am all, I'm standing in the uh, choir. I also have words that start with Q. Queen, quiet, quick. Okay. Um, I love standing in the. Okay. Yeah, you have to you say the same thing. Okay, cool. So I think right down here is the pole star preschool. So let's go down there. Hopefully, see where Paula is, because we need to catch up with her, I guess, because she told us to meet s somewhere, I guess. So, yeah. This is probably our best bet. Okay. Okay, let's talk to. Why well, don't I want to talk to all the classmates? There's one. Um, well, I wanted to play with Paula, but she's gone somewhere. Whistle, whistle, anyone. It makes me smile all the while. I'm Paula's mother. I'm busy taking care of these kids. You shouldn't worry about Paula. She has a guard. She just has a guardian angel, it seems. Okay. Let's go in this other room. Let's talk to this person. So, you want to see Paula? Many, uh, many come here to see my miraculous powers. See our miraculous powers, but they're just leeches. So are you from a TV station or what? No, I'm not from a TV station. To meet you or not to meet you, you can only be decided by Paula. Paula has said that she would only meet with a boy named Ness. So you're Ness. Uh, you're, you're the only one, you're the only, you're the one that was in Paula's dream. You will save the world. Let me go get called Paula. Ooh. Our dreams are connected, I guess, which is kind of cool, I guess. Yeah. So she doesn't she doesn't seem to be here. I wonder where she went. I'm sorry. Could you come back later? Maybe. I'll have to find her, I guess. Okay, here's two bedroom beds, I guess. Go in this room, and there's actually a present. Now, let me see if I have room in it. Yeah, I have one space in my pocket for goods. Let's open the present. It's another teddy bear. Yay! Yeah, another teddy bear. And you can only, you can only, um, equip another teddy bear once your teddy bear is like, you know, totally just done for and, you know, totally destroyed, I guess. So, was there anything in that room other than the teddy bear? I have to go check, because I kind of sped through that room. Okay, let's see here. Nope, I guess not. Okay, cool. Let's just go back and exit the post star preschool then. Because that's what we gotta do. When they, come, oh, when they come for you. I know, I, I don't know why I was singing the Bad Boys lyrics right there. We're about to sing it. I don't know why. I just don't know. Okay. So, what I want to do next is go to this little park right here. Which, if you read the sign, and one of the biggest markets you'll ever find now in Berglin Park. Berglin Park, huh? Okay. So, there's two vendors I want to just check out real quick. So that one being this guy. Hey Mon, you, you got to expand your mind and use this stuff c creatively. Come on Mon, buy and sell. So what do you like? like I don't have any room in my, st I don't have any more room in my goods, sadly. So, uh, defense bracelet, $500. Well, the copper bracelet is like the best. The copper bracelet is, um, the most valuable item I think in this list. Because it raises up your defense a lot. The broken items and all that, I just don't really care for it. I don't, I don't think I'll buy them really. Okay, so I have to eat something real quick. I have to eat a hamburger. Just so I can have an extra space in my uh, storage. Uh, my good. Okay, I had to cut there. Sorry. Um. Yeah, I got one more spare. Okay, cool. Well, okay, let's talk to this guy. I own, an, I, own, I own an antique shop. No, no one is buying or selling anything. So I was thinking about of selling the for sale sign that sits in my front in front of me. You, it's only ninety eight dollars. Please buy it. Sure, we'll buy it. If you want to sell something, use this for sale sign. Customers will flock to you. Okay. So if we use the sales for sale sign, actually, I'm gonna sell like a hamburger or something. Cause just uh, I don't know, get money, I guess. Uh, for the first line, the customer's heading this way. We walk a little bit. There we go, it only takes a little bit. Hey, ha how are you? Is this a tool shop or something? What, you, what are you selling anyway? Uh, hamburger, right? Hamburger? I have probably $7 for that. Yes, okay. Thanks. I'm out here. Okay, so I get $7 for selling that hamburger. Only half the, half the price we sell. So we, um, you know. Bought for it. Hmm, yeah. Okay, I guess that's good. 
So yeah, I'm gonna end the part right here and go back to the hotel. So, well, actually, a boss fight's coming up. So actually, in the next part, I will see. I'll start with the episode, and no, I'll, I'll start the part with uh, standing right about here because there's a boss fight coming up. It's kind of hard too. So yeah, I'm gonna end the part right here. So this has been then my Earthbound Let's Play part. The next part will take on that big boss fight over there. Uh, I guess that's the guy on the roof for fighting actually. I'm pretty sure. So yeah, this was Janko again. I want to thank you goodbye, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next part of my Earthbound Let's Play.